Now we're recording. Amazing. Okay, guys, welcome to our teddy bear picnic. I am so excited. Do you see the bears? So many bears. And we're all here today. We're all here today. Clap, clap, clap your hands. We're all here today. We're all here today. We're all here today. Clap, clap, clap your hands. We're all here today. And we're all here today on Lagba Omer. We're here, it's amazing. Lagba Omer is the 33rd day of the Omer. Let's count it out. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is, well, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today. And like I said, we are counting our Omer, right? And we have made it all the way today, 30. Three, what? Amazing. So I'm going to take a little bird because a little bird might be visiting our picnic. How many days till Shavu is? How many days till Shavu is? How many days till Shavu is? There are 49. And today is Lagba Omer, the 33rd day of the Omer. Today is Lagba Omer. It's almost Shavuot. Almost, but not quite. One of the ways that we celebrate Lagba Omer is to have a picnic and to have a bonfire. Why are we doing this? Did you know that once upon a time, many upon a times, there were some mean people and they did not want the Jewish people to study Torah. Can you imagine somebody saying, no, Torah, you can't study it. So you know what? They would secretly meet to study Torah. They would grab their picnic gear and their bows and arrows and they would go out pretending to have a picnic, but really they were studying Torah. <gasps> Whoa. So we are gonna sing a little bit about Torah. We're gonna have a little snack together and we're gonna be in our picnic. Now, you noticed my beautiful teddy bears. I'm going to read a story about Lagba Omer called A Holiday for Ari Ant. Now, if you would like to see this up close and personal, it is on the website, okay? But Ari Ant lived on the school playground, and he loved watching the children play and laugh, even though he had to be careful of their running feet because he's a tiny ant and they're big kids. He had to get out of the way for all the bites and the feet. One day, Ari sat with the kids under a big tree and they listened to their teacher tell them about Lagba Omer. A long time ago, Jewish people weren't allowed to hear Torah stories, but they wanted to hear them so much that the kids got together, they took their picnic baskets and they went to the caves. So soon we'll celebrate Lagba Omer's and go on a picnic and listen to stories just like the kids did. Ari the ant was so excited. Later that day, he saw two girls having a pretend picnic and they put out plastic food. Ari didn't know it wasn't real, so he went up and he bit a cookie, but it was yucky because it was plastic. <gasps> I'm not sure I like Lagba Omer, said Ari. The next morning, the kids were playing in the sandbox, pretending they were in caves. Ari went to check out the inside of the cave and the sand plopped on his head. I'm not sure I like Lagba Omer, he said, as he coughed with the sand. After lunch, he watched the kids make crafts for Lagba Omer. They were making pretty visors and they had sparkly sequins and he got closer and ooh, he stepped in glue. I'm not sure I like Lagba Omer, he said. But then on the ground, he found a sparkly sequin. I could use this as a hat, he said. He picked it up and tried it on. Finally, the day arrived. 
Ari was ready to go. The kids went outside wearing their sparkly visors, carrying their baskets, and Ari jumped on one of the kids' shoes so he could go too. They got to the park, they saw a hill. <gasps> Just like a cave, the teacher put a big umbrella there so they could all sit under. Whoa, said Ari. The teacher put out a big blanket and put all their snacks on the ground. Oh, there were watermelon and brownies and grapes and oh, Ari just loves slurping up the watermelon juice. Later, they listened to Torah stories and oh, that made Ari so happy. The sun began to set and the parents came with a bonfire and under the evening sky, Ari Ant rubbed his belly, which was so full from food, and said, I love Logba Omer. It's the perfect holiday for an ant like me. If you were an ant, you would love all of the picnic food. I brought some picnic food. It's in my picnic basket. I wonder what's inside here. Should we check it out? Hmm. We're going on a picnic, yes we are. We're going on a picnic, yes we are. We are going in a picnic, we are going on a picnic, we are going on a picnic, yes we are. Mora brought a apple to the picnic. Mora brought an apple to the picnic. Mora brought an apple, Mora brought an apple, Mora brought an apple to the picnic. Let's find out what you guys brought. If you brought something, hold it up. I also brought a Mora brought a banana to the picnic. Mora brought a banana to the picnic. Mora brought a banana. Mora brought a banana. Mora brought a banana to the picnic. I also happened to bring some chocolate chip things. Mora brought a special snack to the picnic. Did you bring something special? Mora brought a special snack to the picnic. Mora brought a special snack. Mora brought a special snack. Mora brought a special snack to the picnic. I also brought my bears. I don't know if you noticed them, but I brought them. I thought we could go on a bear hunt. Now, usually we go on a lion hunt, but today we're gonna go on a bear hunt. So if you brought your binoculars, get them. If not, you have your hands and Moa's gonna play the song and we're gonna go on a bear hunt. Ready? We're going on a bear hunt. I got my binoculars. I'm not scared. Tall weedy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We're gonna have to go through. Ready? We're going on a bear hunt. I got my binoculars. I'm not scared. A big river. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Swim. We're going on a bear hunt. I got my binoculars. I'm not scared. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Ooh, yippee. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Through it. Ready? Squish. 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 We're going on a bear hunt. I got my binoculars. I am not scared. Nope. Nope. What's that? It's a cave. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, 
teddy bear song, right? So if you have a bear or an animal, you can help me out. Here's my lovely rainbow bear. You ready? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Can you touch the ground? Teddy bear, teddy bear, pick up sticks. Pick up your sticks, right? Teddy bear, teddy bear, do a trick. Na, 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 Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Can you reach up so high, so high? Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, rub your tummy. Teddy bear, teddy bear, eat something yummy. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your feet. Teddy bear, teddy bear, go to sleep. Teddy bear, teddy bear, wake up, wake up now. <gasps> teddy bear, teddy bear, take a bow. It means you can just, thank you my friends for playing. Take a bow, you gotta take a bow. Whoa, yes I am. <gasps> you guys can do that with your bear or you can do it by yourselves. You can turn around, you can go up and down. It's amazing. Now I told you that one of the reasons why we go on picnics for Lagba Omer is because once upon a time, we were not allowed to learn Torah or Torah stories. That's so sad, especially since the holiday of Shavuos is coming up. Shavuos is when we celebrate getting the Torah. So can you guys help me? Let's make a big Torah. Big Torah, big Torah, let me hold you tight. Teach me, teach me all the mitzvahs so I can do them right. The Torah teaches every Jew. Torah, Torah, I love you. Torah, 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 Sika, Manu, Moshe, Morasha, Kehila, Yakov, Morasha, Kehila, Yakov, Morasha, Kehila, Yakov, Torah, Sika, Manu, Moshe. And maybe you're having your picnic on a little mountain or a big mountain or outside, or inside. But you know that Hashem wanted to give the Torah on a mountain, and he had to decide which one. And so all of the mountains, they started arguing over which was the best mountain. And the big tall one came up and said, I am a mountain so very high. I can reach way up to the sky. The Torah should be given on me, because I am as high as can be, you see. Oh, no, 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 no. Then there was this other mountain who said, no, 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 you might be high, but I am wide from side to side. The Torah should be given on me. I am a mountain so very wide. I can reach from side to side. The Torah should be given on me because I am as wide as can be. You see, hmm. Little Harsey and I, uh, just sat there, right? Little Harsini. Little Harsini just sat there and sighed. <sighs> I know I'm not high and I know I'm not wide. The Torah won't be given on me because I am as small as can be, you see. But what happened? 
from all of the mountains Hashem chose Sinai because he did not hold himself very high. He had such simple, pleasant ways. From this we learn kindness haze. I want you guys, this Lagba Omer, to find something kind that you can do, right? You can share a toy. You can say please and thank you. You can help clean up. There are so many kind things that you can do for your family. I know you can do it, right? Maybe it's sharing your snack from your picnic. Okay, before we go, we're going to do teddy bear, teddy bear one more time just because it's so much fun. And you guys can get up and you can be the teddy bears, right? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, pick up sticks. Teddy bear, teddy bear, do a trick. Woo! <laughs> teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear. Rub your tummy. Teddy bear, teddy bear, eat something yummy. Mom, 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 mom. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your feet. Teddy bear, teddy bear, go to sleep. <sighs> teddy bear, teddy bear, wake up now. Teddy bear, teddy bear, take a bow. I'm gonna take a bow and I'm gonna say shalom have I to all of my friends. Don't forget tonight is color war. If you want to go participate with the rest of the school, go check it out. Color war, Lagba Omer, woohoo, amazing. Shalom have shalom have shalom, shalom. Lehit raot, lehit raot, shalom, shalom. I'm happy to say that we had a teddy bear day. Shalom, shalom. My friends, I miss you so, so much. I hope to see you and your teddy bears so soon, okay? Say bye, teddy bears. See you soon.